And now our final chapter on campaign strategy. This time, the sole woman among the five main contenders, Shim Sang-jung of the left-wing Justice Party. Lee Eun-shin has this report. A labor activist turned politician and a longtime critic of the corruption in Korea's public and private sectors. With an impressive resume, Shim Sang-jung, the presidential hopeful of the minor left-wing Justice Party, entered the race with a vow to create a nation where everyone can work with a sense of pride. Shim Sang-jung and I will make a new world in the world of the United States. Shim began her political career under the then Democratic Labor Party in 2000, a party she ended up leading. But don't let her soft smile fool you, she's a tough cookie. Before becoming a force in the National Assembly, Shim fought for decades to improve workers' rights. When she was a college student, she took a job as a seamstress at a factory, where teenagers worked day and night in poor conditions. Thus began Shim's 25 years of activism. Leading workers' organizations, she was often isolated in tough battles. At one point, she was even wanted on charges of instigating strikes. But her supporters say her experiences are what made her who she is today, a respected candidate who is not afraid to give a voice to the underprivileged. Her first stop on the campaign trail? To Seoul's subway system to meet with mechanics, cleaners and irregular laborers to tell them they are the engine that moves Korea. As someone who believes in the value of hard work, it's only natural for her to encourage working-class voters. <laughs> the self-employed merchants at this market, who can only dream of having a day off, let alone a week, also welcome Shim's vision. Seomyeon, a popular meetup place, as well as the commercial center of Busan. This is the spot Shim chose to discuss with local residents her ambitions for a better future for young workers, as well as the potential the city holds. With piercing confidence, Shim assures voters that she will bring an end to the widening gap between the rich and the poor. I want to build a nation where everyone can work with a sense of pride. And that's a nation that values skill and hard work, not one's wealth. Her pledges center around helping women who are struggling to balance work and their family life. <laughs> Something that both men and women have long called for. She's the most trusted candidate, especially among workers and young people. If she becomes president, I believe she'll establish good policies on women's issues and women's rights. We need forward-thinking policies when it comes to working mothers and the rising youth unemployment rate. I believe Shim will also work harder than any other candidate to make the economy better for working-class people. As a worker, I think the reality is we can take pride in what we do. That's why I'm rooting for Sim. I want a society in which I can see my value as a person through my labor. Making voters in Busan a conservative stronghold listen and even convert to our way of thinking is one of Shim's uncanny abilities. She's yet to poll higher than the other four major candidates, but the party says that's mostly due to its scale as it holds just six seats in the 300-seat National Assembly. She hasn't had the same exposure as the other candidates, but those who meet her in person or hear what she stands for come to realize she's a leader our country needs. Shim's progressive policies are what we need in order to represent those who lit their candles against corruption among the powerful. The corruption among the powerful caused an early election in Korea. But Justice Party believes the nation now cries out for more than just an administrational change and in need of a societal reformation. As Shim tours the length and breadth of the nation to spread her message of protecting the weak and vulnerable, her supporters have no doubt that she'll be the one to deliver that change in everyone's lives. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.